So can you, if you could just kind of start us out, what has been going on on the ship uh, for the past couple of weeks? I can uh, read uh, the first part of the statement that, uh, first of all, Fred Olsen Cruise Lines can confirm that Balmoral has not been uh, quarantined in uh, Norfolk. Uh, gastroenteritis type illness has affected a number of guests on board on this cruise uh, Old England to New England, which departed from Southampton in the UK on the 16th of April this year. There are currently just seven guests in isolation out of one, a total of 1,434 guests and crew on board, and the incidences have been substantially reduced. There are two US nationals on board, and the majority of the guests are from the UK. And uh, the Balmoral will be continuing the journey to Baltimore this evening as originally planned. So, um, you're leaving that, here when? We arrived here yesterday morning. And you're leaving when? Uh, 6 30 tonight. 6 30. Going to Baltimore. Baltimore. Two Americans are on board, you said? Yes. And what kind of measures have you taken to uh, ensure the health of the passengers on the ship? When uh, people are reporting uh, with such illness, they are being uh, in their cabin for uh, 48 hours uh, after the last symptoms to make sure they are uh, healthy and uh, symptom free when uh, they are coming out again. And what's the highest number of people that you've had sick at one time? Uh, that's uh, CDC has, uh, I think was reported 153 cases, but that's cumulative over the um, over the cruise that's over a two week period so and that numbers since we're on a long cruise that's where uh, the accounting numbers cumulative all over the voyage and when did it start it started on uh, day two of the voyage can you tell us if the americans were sick i have no information about that as we know as of now but um, i can't say yes or no to that so when people are diagnosed with this virus what happens after that it's it's like a common cold bug. That, uh, so uh, when people are reporting with it, they are being instructed to go to the cabin and remain there for uh, 48 hours where they've been looked after by medical team and of course uh, get all the supplies they need in regards to food and uh, water. And then when they are symptom free and uh, confirmed by the medical team, then they are back to... Can you talk to us about what happened in Bermuda? You guys were not allowed off the ship, is that correct? Uh, it's, uh, Bermuda was uh, cancelled uh, after uh, as an agreement and uh, was, we passed by Bermuda voluntarily. What kind of communication are you guys having with the passengers on board about this norovirus? Um, we are informing people about uh, what's, uh, what the situation is and uh, the measures that's uh, taking place and of course we are having in regards to the normal sanitizing measure on board, you are increasing all frequencies during these things. Given that you were unable to dock in Bermuda, what kind of conversation did you have with the United States about coming to Norfolk, and why was the situation here different as, 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 uh, for docking here? We are, uh, have been in frequent communication with CDC all the time. They have been fully informed about everything that's been uh, going on on board, and we have cooperated very well with them. And uh, as uh, Bermuda was cancelled, we had one extra day of. Um, uh, we were like, we one day had a schedule. We then contacted both CDC and CBP and the port here and uh, agreed to come in one day earlier to allow people to get more time here. Talk to me about your medical staff on board. They have been closely monitoring, obviously, all the all the passengers, right? Yeah, so they have been uh, working with it. We have uh, doctors and uh, nurses uh, on board all the time. So they have been monitoring and following, uh, continuing checking up the situation continuously. Did passengers come off the ship yesterday when you guys got into Norfolk? Yes. So they were out and about yesterday? Yeah, those, not those who are confined or those who are in, in isolation. They are uh, not with the rest. They are, uh, of course, they are symptom free. So they are healthy like everyone else. And as of now, you only, how many people are? Seven currently out of 1,434. And what, were the what was the high point? I don't have that number exactly. When it was, I don't have that number exactly. About uh, about eight, nine days ago, eight days ago, I think. I mean, coming down. Yeah. Eight or nine days ago yeah. was the highest. Yeah, I don't have it exact date in my head. Okay.
some of the passengers are saying that they believe that the ship had a case of norovirus on a norovirus on the prior cruise, on the cruise before this one. Is that true? That's true. What was that situation like? Uh, I I wasn't here for that cruise. I can't comment upon that. But, um, I'm sorry. Could you explain that? Uh, I joined the ship uh, at the beginning of this uh, voyage. So they got the virus on a previous ship. I'm confused. So uh, now it's a we change uh, when uh, we. Uh, we changed guests on the 16th of April, so... Um, so they believe it was on the sh previous cruise, and it... That's, uh, the root cause of it, I can't uh, come to one, that's, um, I don't know anything about that. But the uh. symptoms arose with your passengers on this cruise, on the second day of this cruise. Yes. But you are saying that there was a prior cruise on the same ship, a prior cruise on the same ship that had sick passengers as well. Yes. Any resident, uh, resident citizens here in Norfolk should be concerned about the spread? Absolutely not. And why are you confident in that? Because uh, all the people that's been left out of, uh, was coming out of uh, this, um, when they're done with their confinement, they are symptom free, as assured by the medical staff. So uh, then uh, I see no reason to be worried about that. After one cruise is over and then you go on to the next, what kind of sanitation procedures are done, especially in a situation like this? It's, uh, there's a full barrier cleaning taking place uh, after the ship's uh, procedures. So did that happen between the last one and this one? Yeah. And the virus still? It's, uh, the root cause of the virus is uh, hard, to, uh, hard to find, but uh, we are uh, fully compliant with all uh, all cleaning measures and cleaning procedures that's been uh, taken place. Has anybody left the cruise? Any passengers besides the lead? No. Anything else you guys would like to Could you just explain the situation with Bermuda and how that's different with the situation here? Why, why it didn't dock there and did dock here? We uh, have made an agreement with both uh, Bermudan authorities and the CDC here to uh, come in a day early. That's, uh, that's what we did. So uh, we have been keeping CDC fully informed about the situation all the time. And uh, then it was agreed together with uh, CDC and the CBP and also the, the port here in Norfolk that we should come in uh, one day earlier since we don't have some time in the Okay, and the reason you didn't dock at Bermuda was because of the illnesses though? Yeah. Okay. How long ago was that? You were supposed to be in Bermuda? Uh, four days ago. Four days ago. And you came here? Yes, yesterday. So how long have you guys been on the ship without anyone able to get off? Like how long have you guys been at sea without our without? Our, la off? our last uh, port of call was uh, Punta Delgada and the Azores uh, on uh, April 20th. April 20th. 20th. Yeah. Yeah. So 90. Yeah. That's when uh, then we started crossing over the Atlantic. So you guys are leaving tonight off to Baltimore. What happens when you get to Baltimore? To Baltimore we uh, continue as uh, planned. It's uh, nothing changes. We have the Scheduled departure here tonight at 6.30 and then uh, arrive at Baltimore at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning where everything goes as planned. And CDC officials are expected to board the ship in Baltimore? Yes. To do an assessment? Yeah. So we have, uh, they have been kept fully informed and we are in uh, good cooperation with CDC. Have you had an outbreak of this magnitude before? This no, not this. Well, thank you very much. Uh,